Hello guys, welcome back to the Cycles Podcast with me, your girl, Adiambu Adiambu Kisimu City. My name is Maeve Cheryl and on this particular episode, wait, before we even go further, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't. So I'm going to give you like two seconds, three, five seconds to do that. Done? Thank you so much. So on this episode, we're going to be talking about dating etiquette or like dating rules that I think um, make sense to me. Um, I know there are serial daters who probably won't agree with <laughs> a lot of the things I'm going to say, but uh, at the end of the day, freedom of expression, yeah? So the first dating rule I have or the first dating, um, the first thing I think would help someone while they're out on a date or like when they're generally dating to find someone for themselves is to be themselves. I feel like this point, Nikamazile points are uh, political instability, lack of infrastructure. They're heavy on their own and they apply in every case. So what do I mean by be yourself? By be yourself, I mean like if you're goofy, I mean you can show that side of yourself. Don't at deem yourself so that you can be picked that pick me behavior no also when i mean when i say be yourself i mean like if you usually eat and finish a plate on a date <laughs> point but i think it's a genuine concern where if you eat and you clear your plate on a date just go ahead and do it i don't think anyone will kill you for it i don't think anyone will kill you for that and if they do as we said before they're not worth your time um, the second thing I think is, the second thing with that, okay, I, I said be yourself. So be yourself just generally means be free. Um, don't limit yourself. And at the end of the day, if whoever you're dating or if whoever you're seeing doesn't like you for who you are, then you just know good riddance. Then the second point of uh, a person who's either going on a date or a person who's, yeah, this one is, um, it relates to going on a date. So if you go on a date, um, I think don't order expensive. I feel like um, unless now you know the person and Mezoyana Mifikshana your level, then you can order. But with this point, I feel like there's two sides where one, you uh, you want what you want, which is fine. And what you want can be expensive. And then the second thing is that the word expensive is relative. So what is expensive to me could be very cheap to you. And what is cheap to someone else could be very expensive to another party. So. I feel like when you order cheap, not cheap, sorry, not cheap. When you order something that you yourself can pay for in the event uh, the date goes south, you sit through the date with ease. I feel like you don't, you're not panicking, you're not fidgeting, you're present in the moment because either way, if the next party doesn't have your back, you have your own back where you can pay, where you don't have to necessarily subject yourself to embarrassing situations. The next point is um, dating does not necessarily equal exclusivity. What do I mean by this? What I mean is that just because you're dating somebody or you're dating a number of people, it doesn't mean that at you're stuck with them permanently uh, when we say exclusivity in a relationship it means it's just me and you and you and me and nobody else but when you're dating I feel like it's the same it's just the same thing as seeing your friends going out with your friends and hanging out with your friends but the danger is you know where the danger is is that at the end of the date you might end up getting kissed you might end up <laughs> doing bad things with the person you're dating but at the back of your head, I think you should just have um, acknowledge the fact that dating does not necessarily amount to exclusivity. And also the only exception I would provide for such an is instance is when or if the person you're seeing is also not seeing anybody else, which is fair game. And then the other one is don't agree to all dates. I find it lugubrious. <laughs> I find it completely annoying to just be saying yes to every and all dates, especially if your heart is not in it. If you genuinely don't like the person, don't waste their time. If you don't genuinely don't think you will amount to anything, even as friends with somebody, then don't waste your time leaving the house. Because again, we leave the house, if you're being honest, we leave the house for very wrong reasons. Some pengine unakubali date juu nasikianja, unakubali date juu tayi kupika sapa. And then it ends up being 
completely boring. It ends up being a pathetic experience. And I remember, I think I've done this before, and I've accepted to go on a date with someone where I didn't, I didn't even think it would amount to anything, but I just said, because they've been asking Sana, I just go. So I went and like the, the moment I arrived, everything was just off. Uh, where this person wants to hold hands and I don't even know them and I'm just like, no way. But I let that sleep again. And then we went to, I let them choose because it was their, their idea. So I let them decide what we were going to do for that for that specific date. And then we went to a movie. So now the way this person is behaving, I'm, I'm already see, I've already seen the red flags. And even the way they're talking, I'm still seeing the red flags. And then we get into the movie, Nini. Yo, place ya kuona movie inaitwa ni theater ama ni nini? We go to the yeah, we arrive and then the way the seats are unaona hata mtu place ana choose kwenda kukaa ni huko kwenye usherati ama matabia maya zinaweza fanyika. I'm just like, okay, because I was invited and I came, let me just sit through. And then I sat through and then the person starts touching touching and I'm just like, no, no. So if you don't want to go for a date, in if you're not, and most of the time as females, I think we usually know. If you're feeling unsettled around this person, if you're feeling the vibes are just off and all those things, don't go. Don't go. And then also, um, if the more you keep accepting dates that you don't like to, Nini, you just become a trauma connoisseur. <laughs> connoisseur. Your word, Nini? Connoisseur. We'll confirm the spelling of that word, but I know you know what I'm saying. And then the other thing, and the very most important thing, I think everyone should um, consider while dating or going on a date is to carry emergency money. Sometimes you might think um, this: there's this rule that people say, whoever invited you for the date pays for the date. And I think that's valid in, in and of itself, but sometimes things happen. Like you and Osiku, maybe... Up your absa in as a kata. Sorry for using absa, but it's just a bank that came directly to my head. Nothing against them, but you know, sick when your mpesa is down and everything, and nobody carried, nobody bothered to carry cash because they were comfortable and they believed uh, things would be seamless. So, especially as a female, because the expectation usually is heavy from the female side, where you think because you're going out with a man, the man will automatically be in a position to settle the bill where you've not even factored anything as the things I have mentioned before. So just carry emergency money. Uh, I don't know how much that would be because I also, and that goes back to the point, it ties to the point of where you order realistic, or I, I keep messing up the word just order something that you know you can pay for so with your emergency money maybe you could settle that bit and then now if the other person's like if the bill exceeds what you carried then you can see how to help yourself with uh moving on so those are like the five most important dating rules and some dating etiquette that i think you should have at the back of your head whenever you are dating. I don't know what you think. Uh, maybe if you can leave them in the, uh, you can leave some of your suggestions under the comment section. Let me know what are some of the dating rules and some of the dating etiquettes you think that we should have as we are on the journey to find the one. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. I can't wait to see you on the next one. Make sure to follow us on our um, Instagram page at cycles underscore podcast follow me on my personal page at Maeve Cheryl on Instagram or at Maeve Cheryl one on Twitter and can't wait to see you on the next one bye